Why is this sunscreen giving me cast? Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Tamno. Today I'm going to be comparing three sunscreens from Misha. This is their all-round safe block sunscreen. This is something you're interested in. Keep on watching. So this is a first impression video. So basically, I haven't tried any of the sunscreens before. So I'm going to start first with the Misha all-round safe block Essence Sun and SPF 45 PA++++. It's said to be a moisturizing sunscreen that provides intense nourishment and hydration to the skin. It contains moisturizing ingredients that replenishes sun-exposed skin with rich moisture and nourishment. It is a UV protection that is dermatologically tested. It contains relief water which helps with moisture and soothing of the skin. It contains oriental tea nuplex. It helps with protection from environmental aggressors. So this is my face after application. First impression, I am actually impressed with the sunscreen. So my experience with the Misha Essence Sun um, was really effortless, no white casts it's not drying on the skin it started off with a shine but later on when dry dry in the sense that the shine disappeared don't get it twisted the essence sun is recommended for people who have dry or damaged skin i feel like if you have dry damaged normal combination to oily skin you should definitely pick up this sunscreen i do have a combination skin just so you know if i have to compare this with the Neutrogena hydro boost i feel like this has won the battle the Neutrogena hydro boost on the other hand gives me that shine but the shine doesn't necessarily go away as opposed to this one that starts with a shine but then turns out to be like an oil-free moisturizer on your skin if you've used an oil-free moisturizer i believe you understand what i'm saying this retails for 16 dollars. you do get a 50 ml bottle i want to point out that these sunscreens are not full in the tube so basically when you pay for it you're getting half of the tube know that so i feel like this is a scam in my opinion we should just go back to their old packaging i feel like their old packaging was a lot smaller and this this is just daylight probably because of this size like come on feel the tube if you don't feel the tube stop buying the 50 ml it's too small so the Misha Oral Save Block Essence Sun contains porcelain extract, contains green tea, licorice root, provitamin B5, contains cucumber, contains witch hazel, it contains aloe vera, it contains cornflower. So there's octinoset, there's octisalate, tinosub S, there's enzolizo, it also contains uvenor A+, it contains perfume and it contains alcohol. So the next product is the Misha Around Save Block Aqua Sun Gel in SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This is described to be a hydrating sunscreen that quickly absorbs into the skin to moisturize and suit tired skin after sun exposure with a cooling sensation. It is a UV protection and it is dermatologically tested. It contains relief water as well, contains oriental tea nuplex and other ingredients. So this is a lot more different. <laughs> I didn't get shine from the you know beginning this has a more matty feeling i like the fact that it has absorbed into my skin it's not greasy no white cast it, it had this velvety finish touch on my palm it's recommended for people who have normal to oily skin i think it's just perfect for people who have combination to oily skin if you have dry skin or damaged skin stay off because it's quite mattifying so the misha all around safe block aqua gel sunscreen Contains green tea, contains cornflour, contains tinosub S, contains avobenzone, contains octosalate, contains octocrylene, contains homosalate, amyloxate. It also contains alcohol, which is the third ingredient in the product. It contains fragrance, just so you know. But moving to the third sunscreen, which is the Misha All Round Safe Block Daily Sunscreen in SPF 50 plus PA. Plus, 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 plus. It claims to be a daily sunscreen that provides powerful UV protection to the skin with a refreshing feeling. 
Hmm. The moisturizing formula closely adheres to the skin while giving a natural finish without white residue. So it contains relief water, contains oriental T nuplex, the same, um, you know, direction and caution. Guys, what's what's going on here? What's going <laughs> Okay, I see why people don't buy this one. I see why people don't buy this one. Okay. It's peeling. Can you hear? See. Can you see what is doing kind of clean? It's peeling. I wanna give this one more try. I'm gonna give it one more try because it's peeling. So I'm gonna wash my face again. Pop my face down to dry. I'm not going to apply a moisturizer or any skincare product. I'm just going to apply this directly on my skin. Let's see if I'm going to get the same separation as to what I'm getting right now because I don't understand. I'm not the girl that I used to be sometime. I'm more the worst. I'm here what I once was. I don't believe in the love. Hey, hey, if I want something. So guys, I don't know what's going on here. Like this thing has refused to, you know, absorb into my skin though. The cast has definitely reduced from the beginning. You guys saw how white I was. This one is the outcast. I have to say it is the outcast in the Misha all round safe block sunscreen. There's a problem with the formulation, I believe, or maybe what I have is expired. It's not expired actually. So maybe this will be good for people who are a lot more lighter than me because you can see that it's sinking in gradually. So this will be good for people lighter than me. So if you're darker than me, stay clear. So this is giving me the Georgina Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen vibes. Like it peeling is giving me the ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen kind of vibe in SPF 45 because this is that that formula also tends to peel so it's been 15 minutes there's still a cast and i can't see it and i know you can see it so this is what i have left this is after 20 minutes of waiting so i'm going to apply my makeup on this and i'm going to see how this works So this is how I look after applying foundation. I decided to use the same foundation from my Neutrogena Shazing Dry Touch video. If you haven't seen that video, the link to the video is just right here. So I use the same foundation just because I wanted to see if it's going to keep peeling or if it's going to disrupt the foundation since they both gave me cast. But right here, you can see that it's the same thing. No cast, like the foundation definitely cover up the cast. So if you're my skin tone or darker and you have this sunscreen or you want to purchase this sunscreen, I want you to know that this is only going to be possible only when you're going to be applying makeup if you're not going to be applying makeup don't buy the daily sunscreen i need to run you back down it says it gives your skin a refreshing feeling i don't agree with this sunscreen it doesn't give you any refreshing feeling the formula does not give you any natural finish and it definitely leaves you with a white residue this is recommended for all skin types in my opinion I don't know what skin type this this is for because the texture that you guys saw right now it didn't work. Kole what? Kole work. The Misha Oran Safe Block um, Daily Sun contains vitamin E, contains marigold extract, contains green tea, contains a bunch of extract. It also contains homosalate, octosalate, tinosop S, vinyl A+. Plus. It contains perfume and also contains alcohol. Alcohol is like the 11th ingredient. So that's all for my demonstration. If you ask me which of the sunscreens I'll pick, I choose the Essence Sun and the Aqua Sun Gel. I feel like the Aqua Sun Gel is 
my least favorite now in between between both of them because of the alcohol being the third ingredient but that doesn't mean i won't still use the sunscreen then for the daily sun i will just keep wearing this under makeup because it looks really great all three sunscreen retails for 16 dollars each you do get a 50 ml tube which contains a 1.69 fluid ounce worth of product can get this cheaper on amazon and yes style links to purchase this is in the description box so i do get a bit of commission when you shop through the links in the description box if you like to support my channel please shop through the links but if you don't want to shop through the links it's okay but i really appreciate it if you shop through the links in the description box with that being said we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys found it helpful if you did find it helpful please give it a thumbs up like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one